Hello everyone, welcome to this side of the internet. My name is Brandon and today we're going to be painting some rocks because uh, that's what we do here on this channel. Actually, we haven't done much on this channel in a while, so uh, we're going to be painting rocks today because, I don't know, I could do more studies. Here recently I've been working mostly from one big project to the next. The artist, I don't feel like I, I'm growing fast enough by doing things like that because while I develop good rendering skills, I'm not good... I'm not developing good drawing skills, so I, I want to build that my battery's dying. It's like distracting me, so now I gotta replace the battery. But basically, hopefully, it doesn't die yet before I can get this point out. And that is, uh, I just want to be doing more sketching uh, for for now, for for a little bit uh, at least. That that way, I can build up that mental image library of uh, of things, and overall make me a better artist. When developing your skills as an artist, quantity is is a big factor. Get that mileage in, um, and just overall get get used to drawing and using your hands and getting from things up here down there. Um, it's not always about quality. You know, that is a big important factor, but uh, quantity is also uh, is the only way you're going to learn, I guess. I don't know, that's what they tell me. But, yeah, obviously, yeah, qu quality's good. I'm not saying that quality's not good, because it's definitely good. I need to change this battery, okay? Alright, well, let's uh, try that again. Uh, as you can see by the shitty quality of video that we got going on here. I had to resort to my, my camera on my laptop because I got three three dead batteries here from my from my Canon here. And this this does the trick. I mean it's just my face. You don't need to see too much, right? You just need to see the screen, right? Here. Alright, well let's uh let's uh just get into this um and draw some rocks. Um okay. Well here we go. And I'm not gonna, you know, when I first did this, why is my opacity set to zero? Alright. When I first, uh, you know, ma made it, I don't know, started doing YouTube videos, and uh, let me get the mic closer. Maybe this thing, this thing's not even that good, and people pr praise how good blue it is. Maybe it's just my laptop and the way it registers it, but the sound waves are super low, so I have to amplify them up, and hopefully things come out clearly, but anyways. All right, back to my um, last thought before I got distracted on the, the mic. Um, I used to uh, force commentary, and, and I don't think I'm going to do that this time. I'm, I think I'm just going to try to be natural, and when I have something to say, I'll say it, and and when I don't, I'm not. And, uh, yeah, this is just uh, me drawing rocks, really. Uh, I'm not going to um, say this is a tutorial. This is just me drawing rocks and me giving my thoughts along the way because I'm not in a position right now where I want to be teaching you how to draw rocks. But I do want to make YouTube videos, so I'm, I'm testing this out, okay? Good thing about drawing rocks is you don't even have to try. I mean, I, and well, sure, it's nice to try when you actually draw, but you can get away with a lot of mistakes because they're just organic material. It's not like uh, something precise like a. Uh, I don't know, a human face where you can tell if something's pretty wonky. I'm actually procrastinating right now. I, I really should be working on this commission that I, that I have going on, but nothing like procrastination to catch up on some older procrastinated projects. So I'm definitely... I enjoyed the process of finding colors in, in art, and I'm trying to learn how to enjoy the, uh, the finding shapes and composition and 
and just enjoy the drawing portion of the uh, the, the the process. But yeah, I'm definitely a, a definitely love color more. I like to think if I just mindlessly copy what I see that I'll I'll repeat it so much that eventually it'll lock in somehow but a different side of me thinks uh, maybe I should pay more attention to, to the marks I'm making and asking my question and asking myself questions like why is it like that and oh that's interesting make sure that you do more little curvy thingies and rocks and <laughs> I don't I don't know sometimes it's nice to turn off the brain and and just draw and and hope that you're doing something but there's probably a I don't know like conscious drawing not like unconscious drawing <laughs> Well, I think maybe this is a good point where I can start painting. Uh, it's still pretty rough, but um, yeah, maybe I can start painting. And it's getting kind of dark, ain't it? So let me turn on this light. Okay, let's uh, see if I can make this look halfway decent by painting it. blue sky so that is a secondary light source uh, to the Sun which is the primary light source so I'm gonna take that into account when choosing the colors for these rocks I do have a reference here that I'm loosely going off of so I got a little bit of an idea of what kind of colors I'm gonna choose for the local color of the rocks but I'm gonna try to keep in mind about the Sun affecting the uh, the colors as well so the rocks are kind of gray, brownish, and so the, the sun's gonna be a little bit warmer, so I'm gonna hit hits that up on this stupid motorcycle. And then for the shadows, the part where the sun's not hitting, um, the sky's gonna be hitting because the sky's like all around. Uh, it's not just a, a point in the sky like the sun is. So the sky's hitting the shadow, so I'm gonna make those a little bit more cooler. Um, now in this picture, they just look like grays and blacks, not black black, but just like darker versions of, of the rocks, but I think I'm going to play with that and use uh, so a little bit more blues than, than my references here. So let's, uh, let's see what, what happens. Hopefully it looks good or, you know, it's going to look bad and all this footage is going to go to waste because I'll be too, like, self-conscious about uploading it. So let's, uh, let's not mess up. I'm going to start by adding just a, a solid opaque, is that redundant? Maybe. Um, uh, color to add some kind of brushwork, um, interest, some variety, I'm going to, um, I have some of these like shapes that I bought because I'm lazy and I don't feel like making them myself. They were like five bucks, okay? So I don't even know if they were that much, but I got all these different like, their machinery, I think, but they, they still do the trick. They add some variety in here. And I, uh, I like to just throw out some different tones and uh, hues of, of these abstract shapes. And maybe none of them will be left behind once I'm done. Maybe some of them will. Maybe all of them will. Who knows what it's going to look like. But I find that when I paint abstractly like this, and don't rely on just the things that I can make up in my head. 
then uh, it, it, it adds a, a little bit of uh, this, uh, I don't know, charm to it that, that I, I don't know, that I'm, I wasn't able to make up for myself. So, I like adding some of these. And I'll get some, some of these bluer tones in here. Maybe not overdo it. I mean, even try some purples, <clears throat> since that's like the blue sky mixing with the uh, the local color of the rocks. And sometimes I also like to go to filter noise at up. Ah, that's not what I wanted to do. Filter noise, add noise. And I leave it, I make sure monochromatic's turned off. And then uh, I'll get a few of them in there. And then hit OK. That way, when I go to eye drop something, I'm just picking up a random color that's roughly in that same value and uh, hue range. But it's got a slight little shift that uh, when I paint around it, that I'm getting a variety of colors and you know there's a there's a lot of colors in the world so i want to capture that too so it's this very controlled chaotic kind of way of painting that 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 i really enjoy because i really don't know how this is going to turn out but i got kind of a system for it on choosing some colors like i'm still like in control of it but i'm also allowing a little bit of uh abstractness and uh um what's the old expression happy accidents to 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 come out so yeah good uh color harmony and there's really not too much rhyme or, or reason for what i'm doing i'm just trusting my eyes and um, I guess I, I, I am staying in the lower saturated colors um, because that I, I, I'm able to mix colors together a little bit better. And I do like to add saturated colors in there too, but only just little hints of saturation. Um, and and I, I find like the, your eyes really are drawn to those areas, so use those for the focal points. Trying to keep my brush fairly large so that I get the right colors in. I'm still kind of figuring out the colors right now, and um, I don't want to go straight into detailing without getting those big shapes and big colors in there. I think what I'm going to do is duplicate my lawn layer and then I'm going to hide one to preserve it and take these up a little bit and I'm going to merge it on top that way I'm just painting directly over top of my line work now this helps get some of those like occlusion shadows in, in between the rocks and that way I don't have to keep turning my lines back on and off Try to get a softer edge here so that it, like, it's a smoother rock, so it's transitioning a little bit easier. So I don't need this hard edge. I like this color. It's a, it's a low saturated yellow, so it it looks a little bit cooler than. Um, than these other yellow, so it looks nice. I 
and say like here's the same color up here but it's surrounded by all these blues so it looks warmer so that's one of those uh, optical illusions that you hear people talking about I think when I was in high school, I never would have imagined that I'd be painting this way. Uh, really loose and abstract, impressionistic, I guess. Because when I was in high school, I, I, I oil painted and I would use a, a brush that was, you know, the, the size of like a nose hair, really. And I thought that was the only way to really get realistic artwork is by torturing yourself with a, a, a really small brush and painting one little stroke at a time and get all those details in there and uh that's really not the case uh, i mean look at bob ross really he he painted amazing uh realistic little landscapes in, in no time at all with some giant brushes so um but yeah th i'm not really going for realism here but i'm going for uh believability and that that's where i, I find the most comfort to be at because when I paint too realistic, I get really bored from all the rendering. And if I paint really abstract and loose, it's kind of like, eh, what's the point? But that's just me. That's just me and my opinion about abstract. Um, I do some abstract. I, I did a one piece not, not too long ago. I'll, I'll show it here on the screen. And I had a lot of fun doing that. But that that's, uh, that's I guess, that's my style of abstract where there is some kind of... Uh, effort and colors and light. It's not just cigarette ashes on, flipped on a canvas and call that art. This this style right here is that, that line of like getting like being doing a lot of hard work and being bored with it and being really loose and uh, not giving a shit. So there's a little bit of hard work here but I'm also not like totally stressed out. So I'm still pretty loose and still trying to discover some of my colors here and I'm just getting really annoyed with all, all this purple actually. I think I went a little too extreme so I'm trying to get a little bit more warmth in there and, and I think that the reason why that I hate how, how cool this is is um, one I'm trusting my eyes and I'm just like oh that's, that's awful. And two, perhaps uh, you know since this is, this is on like a beach you know, this is this isn't grass. Um, that uh, is being lit by the sun because we we're at an angle where the, the shadow is not going all the way out here. So the sun's hitting that, and potentially maybe that's like bouncing up some warmer colors up in those rocks. So the um, the, the, the sky's not having too much of an opportunity to get some of those cools in there and the, the combination with the warmer local color of the rocks too so I don't know but I'm trying to get some more orange in here now and I think I, I think I like this this combination of warms and cools in these rocks but majority of it, it it is cooler I mean if you look at that it's squint, you can say that that's still pretty pretty cool at least at this point This one's got just a little bit softer of an edge. Try to get that to, uh, to blend a little bit there in the light in the shadow. And then let's uh, let's do something tricky here and make this part of the rock a hard edge ah. 
goes up in there and it, it curves in the top part and but then it's it's more of a harder edge here because rocks are weird like that they can have a variety of edges like a, a lot of objects in real life but still and bounce light so it, this is being lit so it's gonna be like bouncing over in this direction I guess and um, lighting up this area not so much that uh, that this shadow side of this rock is gonna be classified as a light but it's still gonna be a dark so but this should be the brightest dark for this sh uh, this rock and we'll make it cool since this is a, a cool rock so cool So we'll put just a few little bright, bright little specks hitting off some of the bumps here in the, the rocks. Yeah, had a little bit of shift in values in some spots. And now if we zoom out, like, does it look good? Did it work? I don't know. Maybe you're looking at that thinking, whoa, that's awesome. But if you're a veteran, you're like, I didn't quite get it right. <laughs> so who knows? Let's not uh, dwell on that though. And uh, go ahead and flip the canvas here and get a fresh perspective on, the, on what I'm actually doing here. And it's coming together. It's coming together. I think if I spent another hour on this, it would actually uh, look pretty good. Let's, uh, let's play with some of these lighting effects, see if we can get a little bit more uh, confidence in this piece. And uh, I like to mess with the contrast here with the levels, but I, I don't move this too far, like because then things get really, really black really quick, and sometimes without me even noticing. And it's only till like once I finish the piece and come back and look at it, I realize, holy crap, that's so dark. So I want to be careful with that. So I've ruined a, a lot of paintings that way. And also with the lights here, uh, things are starting to, to blow out here in the sky. So kind of want to fade that out now or I'll just create a new layer okay. create a new layer or duplicate that layer and then apply that same levels adjustment and then erase the part of the sky that I don't like where that effect's going on. There, now it's only doing it to the rocks. Is I, I try not to complicate it too much with like, well, if the light's here and the, the then that means like the blue should be here and the, the shadow should be on 
like right here if the if the angles that like no I don't I don't try to figure out the 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 space around the rock maybe I should I don't know but the, the easy way that I do it is all the right sides of my rocks are shadow and all the left sides are lights and all the tops is like that mid-tone uh, I finally, you know, an hour and a half into the process have come to that conclusion, whereas that should have been like the first thing I realized uh, way back in the, uh, the beginning. But hey, you know, better late than never. Like, I'm not even painting with blue right now, I'm painting with green. Like, green's closer to blue than these orange tones. Uh, it's appearing more cool, so it's appearing more blue. And, yeah, so that that's how that works. Hope that made sense. I never can tell if that makes sense. Communications, uh, you know. Like passing a football, I gotta throw it and then you gotta catch it. I can either throw it poorly or you can be a bad catcher. Probably reason why there's a lot of conflict in the world because nobody can pass a damn ball and nobody can catch a damn ball. Is any of this making sense? Basically what I'm saying is everybody should play sports more often. And it's funny how, like, I'm not getting bored with any of this painting process and this discovery of color. So I realize, like, color is my true passion because I I'm still really enjoying this um, discovery. Whereas the, the, the line work and just drawing in general, I get, oh, I just get so worn out and fatigued. I don't want to do it anymore. I just want to paint. Um... Does that make me uh, a less lesser artist that I don't like to draw? <laughs> I don't like the basic fundamental of being an artist. I like using a variety of brushes. Uh, there's this one artist that I, I really enjoy watching his videos. And he said in one of his videos, though, like, it's a good idea not to use so many brushes. Like, it's better to stick with uh, one brush. That way you'll have the same consistency. And so it doesn't look like you just used a different brush. And I kind of got what he meant. But I Like, if you use a hard brush throughout and then you use, like, the grass brush to paint grass. Like, that grass brush and that texture is going to stand out a lot. But... For me, since I use so many, it kind of takes on its own style. So I, I didn't necessarily agree with him uh, because, yeah, I like I like all the different brush strokes. I think your hand and the way you paint and, and just kind of see things and decide to flesh out things a little bit better and um, really determines on that quality of brushwork and whether or not everything fits correctly. I mean, if if you're a good artist and you use the grass brush and the, a hard brush or, or whatever, you can see like if it's not working right. But And then you can probably still use those same two brushes and, and make it work right. I guess maybe it's it's better for like beginners to, to use just one brush. I don't know, maybe.
All right, guys. Well, thank you for watching. I hope that you learned something from that video, or if not, just at least entertained by that video. If you're an artist or an inspiring artist, I don't think that's the right term. Aspiring? Aspiring artist. Aspiring. Yeah, what she said. Painting rocks, bright. Uh, not not too too big of a deal with that. Like I said in the in the demo, you can pretty much uh, get away with a lot with painting rocks. Um, but while at the same time you do kind of want to pay attention to your perspective if like you're really good at what you do. <laughs> Me, I, uh, I was mostly loosely going off a of photograph and then for the colors uh, I kind of took a little bit more privilege there. Tell me what you guys think. Uh, if, you, if you guys like this video, uh, give it a thumbs up and, uh, and you know, subscribe for more. Uh, tell me if, if you watched this video and if you got anything out of it and if you want to see more like this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.